and welcome to the Rave TV. I'm Linda Kay here with Liam of Cancer Bath. How's it going? Doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. Well, first of all, welcome back to the Rave. Thank you for having us. You're very welcome. <laughs> so uh, last time you were here, you played in the volume with the bullet from my Valentine. Yeah. How was that experience for you? Uh, it was actually not as good as we would have liked. This time coming back to the Rave is us trying to reclaim our stake on Milwaukee and uh, the Rave in general. I'll explain. Basically what happened last time was uh, we were starting a tour. It was the first day. And uh, we had just flown from Scotland, gotten into our van in Toronto, Canada, and driven straight from there to the rave, loaded on stage, and played one of the worst sets I think we've ever played. We were all like so jet lagged and tired. And for some reason, we decided to change our set list for the tour. So we were playing like different songs. Like I thought I was going to throw up the whole time. Like it was just the worst. So this time, we came back like, OK, you know, we've got to crush the rave tonight. All we've got to do is like get a good night's sleep, you know what I mean? Make sure everyone knows what songs we're playing. So this time, you know, we've had a good week of the tour. So I think we're going to make up for it. You guys are ready to rock tonight, right? I'm pretty ready to rock <laughs> in good spirits. Did you get a chance to walk around and check out the rave yet? Um, no, I've just basically been taking care of everything right now. But I've heard all the, uh, the crazy ghost stories about this place. So I kind of want to check it out. I heard there's like a pool full of blood. There's a, a pool of human blood that we can <laughs> swim in. Can we swim in the pool of blood? Okay. Yeah, why not? Right on. <laughs> so, how does it feel to be part of Rockstar Taste of Chaos 09? Uh, it's awesome. Yeah, this is an amazing tour for us. Uh, this has been like pretty much one of like the biggest tours we've done in the U.S. next to that Bullet for My Valentine. Um, so to be coming back with such a different tour and especially to be like on tour with such good bands. Like, I mean, Thursday, Bring Me the Horizon, Four Year Strong, Pierce the Veil. Like, I think all of those guys rip. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we're like in the mix with those guys is really awesome and that we're just, you know, having a great time. Everybody's getting along and it's a really fun tour. That's cool. So what are some must-haves for you and for, for the band when you're on the road? Oh, tons of sleep. I find that's our biggest thing. We're the only band that's in a van and trailer for this tour, and we, we kind of agreed to do it out of necessity, but we've realized that like all these drives are really huge, and we've got a lot of like big stretches, so it's like try and drive as much as we can and sleep as much as we can, and so we can uh, yeah play up to the, the expectations as the rave deserves. Absolutely. <laughs> so um, are, what are some embarrassing moments that you had, like your most embarrassing moment on stage? Uh, I would say that show that we played here with Bullet For My Valentine was probably my like most embarrassing moment. Like standing, standing at merch and kids being like, that was okay, you know? I thought you guys were all right. And I'm like, I swear to God, that's not what my <laughs> band sounds like. Please come with us to Chicago tomorrow. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, yeah, stuff like that was tough. So that's why I feel like we're going to really step it up tonight. So if you weren't performing um, with Cancer Bats, what would you be doing for a living? Ooh, I don't even know. I'd probably be selling merch. Merch guys are the ones who may actually make money. Merch guys and tour managers. You're in a band for fun. Everything else is uh, <laughs> is an actual business. Whereas, yeah, the stage stuff, you kind of are the last to get paid. So, do you have any tattoos? I have a few. That's, that's what, you know, what's your favorite tattoo? What's the meaning of it? Oh, I can show you a new one that I just got. Awesome. I don't know if you can see it, but I just got this right before I left for tour. Uh, it says, I'll never believe in heartache because all my heroes are still in love. And it's a little piece for my mom and dad. Aww. Yeah. And it was done by a girl back in Toronto named Glenny. And I'm very excited about it. Oh, awesome. So um, what can we look forward to as far as tonight? I mean, something different from the last time. I know you said you, you guys are... You know. um, the whole band's going to probably play the same song at the same time. So okay. that'll be cool. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to throw up at all. Okay. So that'll be fun. I don't know. We're trying to just like, because we're the first band, I guess, aside from the Ernie Ball band, we really try and like kick off the show. And our big thing is to like really get the party started and really get kids like woken up, especially because it's what, five o'clock, like 530 when we play. So it's especially like, you know what I mean? People haven't been at the bar yet or like kids are still like just getting off school. So for us, it's like really trying to get the crowd interacting. So jumping into the crowd, like getting people to like really kind of mix it up. So for us, that's like our biggest thing is trying to get like the biggest circle pit possible. Yeah. This early, whew, it's tough. <laughs> so, um, can you just tell me a little bit about Halo Destroyer? Uh, it was a record that we just put out uh, in, I guess it came out in June in the United States uh, on Black Market Activities, which is through Metal Blade. And um, yeah, it's just a good time. Good headbanging yeah. romp of punk rock, hardcore, and metal. So 
what are some of the bands that have influenced you guys? Um, we're kind of all over the place with everything. I mean, we're big fans of like metal, punk, and hardcore, which I think shows through a lot, yeah. like with our band. So I mean, at one point we'll be playing, you know, like Black Flag. Uh, with like COC and like I hate God, you know, type riffs over top of that. And I'm like trying to scream like, you know, Spencer Moody from Murder City Devil. So we're kind of all over the place. So definitely looking forward to seeing a show tonight. Thank you very much. I'm excited to play. And prove to us. Like, yeah, like the last exactly. <laughs> so thank you again very much, Liam, for joining us. Oh, thank you so much for having me. And thank you again, everybody. Make sure to check out Cancer Bats and the latest album, Hail Destroyer. I'm Linda Kay. Thanks for watching the Rave TV. We'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.